very, very tender. And sometimes you lose sight of them and you just see their little ears coming and then they just fly over. Well, it's a good field. Um, you know, I'm always very optimistic we're going to get to seven foot six or something like that. with City Business. Ireland's final challenger. Oh, oh dear me, he's definitely right in his luck there. It's but not anyway. a triple bar jumper, is it? No, not at all. But hopefully it's a big wall jumper. Oh yes it is. Oh, very easy. Lovely. Lovely, lovely jump. So, is it going to be a night where the Irish come through? He goes into round number four to join Ollie Smith. We're definitely going up again after this in the Nailers Equestrian Puissance. Now we've got three more to come forward. Again, just looking at the replay. The thing I'd be most worried about for Porrick is that he has the triple bar down at some point. But hopefully Bob's not adjusted the width on that too much. Now next to go, it's the turn of uh, Joe Clayton. Joe here with uh, Noctambul Kursel. Over the triple bar, was Joe's been having quite a unique approach. He's trying not to have too long a run, I think, because it was a little hot. Oh, yeah, just Ow. got a run on him. He got his head up and ended up, I think, uh, too close. Well, will he come round and have another go off the left rein? I was going to say because he's sort of been wanting to jump it off the left rein since the beginning. I wonder if he'll... No, he's going to take on the triple bar. And calls it quits. Retires and... Very difficult once they've, once they've stopped at a wall that size to come back to it again. So, do we lose Joe Clayton in round three? But we're two through to round four. Have a little look at the replay here. Here he comes, William, just down to the fence. I think he ended up perhaps head up and a little close. Joe tried to slow him down to get him, you know, because of the horse's front end, the horse needed time to jump. So he tried to give him some time to jump and the horse didn't want to listen to him and ended up and thought he was too close and uh, stopped. So your tip's through. Now mine. Let's uh, see what she can do. Louise Saywell and Aslan. really warming up now, Gareth. The thing is, is you don't need too many horses going through at this ground. If they're good jumpers, the competition's just going to be just as exciting. And we've got three very good jumping horses. And I'll say the three that jumped it did it very, very easily. Now there's one more to go in this round, and it's going to be Robert that joins us in a moment but again just have a little little look just hopping along on her way down to the fence and focusing in on what she wants to do you know obviously we know these Grand Prix a lot more Robert's jumped quite a few Nations Cups with him this year um, yeah, he had disappointing Hingstead um, but otherwise uh, 
you know, perhaps uh, could have been at the European Championships this year. So it's very interesting these horses that we know so much better to see them do a competition like this. So it should be interesting. Here comes Catwalk. You've got to say, um, if, if, if I thought Robert was going to go all the way, you'd have to say the horse is, looks like he's going to keep jumping bigger and bigger, doesn't it? Perhaps now, the, the ease that the horse did it with, it, it may keep going. You never he's know. sort of biting his lip at the moment, as if to say, trouble is, the horse is jumping so well this evening, I could keep going. But is that the right thing to do, looking at the bigger picture? Yeah, his main aim is going to be the Grand Prix tomorrow and the World Cup in Oslo. And he's got Oslo and Helsinki coming up with that horse. He's done a good job to get it to settle. So, um, you know, I, th I, I think that it's probably he's achieved what he wanted to achieve tonight, but let's see. Well, we have four to go to round four. We've got Holly Smith with quality old joker. We've got Porrick. Judge and City Business, Louise Saywell and Dassler, and Robert Whittaker and Catwalk at the Horse of the Year show. As far as we know, all four are coming back in this, the fourth round of a possible five. Here we go then with Holly Smith and Quality Old Joker, the winners from last year. Come on, Holly. She all blessed Holly with Williams' prediction. Everything looked so perfect to be honest with you that the whole arena was completely silent. Everything looked. You could have heard I a pin drop. Of that I, I could have heard a pin drop, and I thought she had a really good approach. Perhaps in the end, a little far off in the end. Perhaps let's have a look at the replay. We could have a look at from the, perhaps from the other side. Difficult to tell from that angle. All we can tell there is he didn't go quite high enough. But um, Holly looked as though she was sat quiet. She gave him time. I thought she did absolutely everything right. Um, so, there you go. My predictions aren't going that well this evening. Unless we don't get a clear round of the next three, at which point then things change dramatically. But there's three very good pairings left, and this pair, well, the couple bars look their, like their biggest worry so far. It's Porrick, Judge, and City Business. Yes, let's hope um, he gets a triple bar out of the way. Good Height up. of the wall now, 214, 7 foot. 2 metres, 14, 7 foot. Oh, it stayed! It stayed! It. Well done. Good job. And as you can see how light that was. I mean, it didn't give it a huge rub, but um, it stayed. And uh, I think he's the first of, um, hopefully, yeah. Uh, Two or three. Yeah. Let's have another I've conceded, anyway. You've conceded, but let's have a look at the replay here. He let right on the top of it, but it's almost because you it was can see where the horse, the how neat the horse was, because he actually he hit it with his belly then. And that's exactly it. I've seen that happen before. When they sort of land almost on top of it, they sort of squash the ball back into place. Perhaps he should get some eventing grease for the next round, to be honest. With you, so he slides <laughs> over a bit easier. I'm sure, this up in the trade stamps. There's an awful lot to uh, look at and shop for here. Well, hopefully, the next one hasn't been cursed by the commentator, but this is Louise Saywell, the next to go. What can she do tonight? Two metres 15, so one centimetre bigger when she jumped at Arena UK. 
so relatively not. Well, we can the see them as uh, seem to be getting even more on the toes. And also news, William, the one thing you were absolutely right on tonight, news has just come through. Robert Whittaker is not going. He's not coming back in this round. So this is the last to go. And if she doesn't jump this, it means that Porrick's going to win. So is it Ireland or England? Or, or both? It's Ireland! It's Ireland! The fence goes down for Louise Saywell as it did for uh, Holly Smith. Who would ever want to listen to well, us? I said we were looking for records. I mean, it's been a great competition and uh, we've seen some great jumping. Um, but what it does mean is there is only one clear in this round of the Nailers Equestrian Puissance. And therefore, the winner is Porrick Judge. So, well done, City Business. Well done, Ireland. Didn't see that quite coming, but what a way to finish. Drama to the last. Well, the Andrews Bird International Arena has come to its feet now because it's lap of honor time for Porridge Judge and City Business. As he's followed around by the British Lady Riders, Holly Smith and Louise Saywell. Thank you, unbelievable, <laughs> it's unbelievable. So talk me through it because you've never been here before and to turn up at the Horse of the Year show and nail it like that, what a thrill. And Can you believe it? I can't really, even when I walked in the first night and watched the jump and I nearly got a shock, the atmosphere and the buzz around the ring and the people, <laughs> it was all new to me. And, uh... Tell me about the horse and how you've come to be jumping and, and jumping seven foot like that with this horse. Uh, well, I bought him here as a four-year-old from Helen Van Heineken and Mel Watson just out the road. And so I produced him for a good few years. Sold him to done a gang holding. So I've I've done most of the work with him, I suppose. And when you were thinking about that last round, what was going through your mind when you were approaching that? Did you think, I, I know I can get this? Ah, yes. No, I knew I could do it. I knew I could do it. Provided I got a good shot. And the shot wasn't too bad. Even though that wall was tantalisingly holding on. <laughs> I know that, yeah.